Good morning. It is Monday, April 1st, 2024. I'm going to call the meeting to order. Please stand if you are able to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Is there a motion to adopt today's agenda? So moved. Second? Uh, Basil? Aye. Heddens? Aye. Motion or agenda is adopted. Now is the time for public comment number one. This comment period is for the public to, to address topics on today's agenda. Um, if anyone would like to make public comment, you could go over to the podium over there or raise your hand on Zoom. Seeing none, we will close public comment number one and we'll go on to public hearing items, uh, discussion and comments for, uh, for property proposed property tax levy. Good morning, Lisa and Lucy. Good morning. And don't forget your microphones. Yep. Good morning. This is the first step in adopting the FY25 budget um, in, de in the for de determination of the maximum allowed growth evaluation and tax dollars um, for the maximum levy for the general, general supplemental, and rural funds. Countywide mailing was done for properties in Story County with the school, city, and county information regarding the tax rates and the public hearing information for today's public hearing and for any other of the public hearings that are being held. This public hearing cannot be held at the same time as a normal board meeting and must be held before moving forward with the budget adoption. This, this rate um, that is proposed is, <clears throat> this includes the general, the supplemental debt, debt service and rural levy for the Story County budget. The general supplemental, general and supplemental will be lowered by seven cents per thousand so we're going from $4.50 to $4.42. The roll will be lowered by 17 cents. We're going from $7.46 to $7.29. This notice compares current year taxes and current year tax dollars to the new year valuation and current year valuation and taxes proposed. The statement that taxpayers were provided as a notice of the, for this public hearing does not include the county or city assessor levies, the county hospital levy, the ag extension levy, or the TV and bangs levy. And I have those rates if anybody is interested. If you're a rural taxpayer, the township levy is also not included in this mailing. Uh, we've had probably a dozen, a dozen and a half phone calls regarding this. Um, the, the majority of the phone calls, I would honestly say, were just confused by what the document stated. Mm -hmm. It was um, not the full picture, so it was a, a bit uh, difficult to understand what exactly it was saying. Uh, when we... Um, when we started this process of the, the putting the budget together, um, the the counties, the cities, uh, the schools were all limited on how much they could uh, could could grow in their valuations and their taxes. So Story County, if we were allowed to get the whole tax or the whole valuation growth, would have gotten six point six one percent increase in taxable value. However, because of the limitations, we got 3%. Um, so our revenue, revenue growth is only allowed to be 3.5%. For the rural, we had 7.73 valuation increase. Uh, we are only, access, only allowed to access three again. And so we are, we're, we're a, available to us as a 4.6% growth. <clears throat> The meeting today is to hear comments. Uh, there is no action that the board needs to take today. You just listen to comments or answer questions. Okay. I, I would just add the mailing is a general for each taxing district. 
Um, and it also does not include any growth in assessment, which was uh, pretty um, significant across Iowa. So it compares $100,000 in FY24 to $100,000 in FY25 with certain levies. Um, most properties went up across Iowa and in Story County. Um, for instance, I live in a condo building. There are 20 units. Um, I, I ran the numbers for all my neighbors and some, some show Taxes going down, some show almost no change, some show going up. And that just it depends on if their assessment went up. A really crude um, measurement is if your assessment went up by more than 22%, then if you plug in the numbers, and there is a link on the back of that mailing where you can go in and run your particular property um, with these certain levies, not all of them. Um, uh, so, but you need, you need your mailing and you also need to go into like the beacon website and figure out your assessed value for this year and next year. So, uh, it wasn't particularly straightforward that that led to the confusion. Probably the least confusing thing about that mailing was the hearing dates. So, um, but again, in, in our building numbers were all over the place. So it, it's not to be confused with your tax bill. Uh, so it doesn't include any increase in assessment. It doesn't include any credits and exemptions that people have on their, and on residential properties, most people have at least one credit or exemption. So it's not a true picture. It's, it's a really rough estimate. Um, it's a starting point basically. So don't confuse this with uh, what your tax bill that you will get in August. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Before, do you have any questions? No, just um, for clarification, this is the first year this um, mailing was required. Yeah, and it's, that it's was a brand new, brand new for everybody of information. Right. So it, it, it's as the legislation requires. Mm -hmm. um, that's what's in there. Um, all 99 counties and the Department of Management worked really hard just to get this out. Um, it will undoubtedly be tweaked for next year. Um, just certain things like if your city and school district have the same name, you know, it goes school, county, city, but if you live in Nevada, it says Nevada, Story County, Nevada. So words like school and city will be added. The mm -hmm. phone number will be broken up to not just be 10 digits in a row, things like that. But the, it was it was a lot of work just to get to this. Mm -hmm. um, it was also when this passed last year, all counties had already passed their budget. So nobody had this in their budget. And we're waiting for that bill. Probably be about $18,000 is my for, estimate. For the mailing. For the mailing. $18,000 to do the mailing. Yeah. For Story County. For Story County. Yeah. So. But the. Sorry, no, the, the purpose was, or as best as we know, the purpose was to increase transparency in budgeting, correct? And make, um, encourage people. Right. But this is not, not your budget make... hearing. So, right. No, no, I, no, <laughs> yeah. no. So, yeah. Right. So, so, but you take comments only right. and take no action. Right. Well, I mean, I think, I think we can look around and see that it, it worked because this is, I mean, we've got a lot of people here. For information that yeah, we hopefully they come to the actual budget hearing because that's more yes. informative, I think. But I agree. I do have one question before I open up to the public if they have any comments. So it was House File 718. Yes. And it was specific, if I recall, in that bill that it only you only looked at the county, city, um, and school at a particular level. It it did not, because you both have kind of commented on how it's not the whole picture of things. The reason the mailing went out with just that is because that's what the law required, required. Correct. but not everything else. I just want to make that clear yeah, for everyone correct. else in the audience who may be yeah, so it's wondering a, why, why we didn't, why we did a mailing that didn't include confusing. everything that was very confusing. It's because the law that was passed last year stipulated these were the only areas and not to include anything else. Right. Correct. And then it also shows residential and commercial. So a lot of people are like, why am I, I don't have commercial property. Why am I getting this? It's because it's a generalized mailing 
for each tax district. Correct. So yeah, it's okay. going to look the same whether if your if your house is worth two hundred thousand dollars and your neighbor's house is worth a million dollars, you got the same mailing. You know, uh, it, it doesn't mm -hmm. distinguish between. I mean, uh, does it does it, it's not targeted to your actual property just to the taxing district with yeah those are the biggest pieces of any tax bill but it's certainly not the full picture right 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 so we're hoping that the legislature maybe addresses that if they want to provide more transparency to folks that it's more clearly next year mm -hmm. uh, in, in what they're trying to accomplish trying is the word I think so any other comments here before I open up? Okay, I'll go, since this is a public hearing, I'm gonna open up if anyone would like to make public comment. If so, I ask that you please come over to the podium, state your name and address, um, or if you are on Zoom, please raise your hand and we will call on you. So if you have any questions or comments that you'd like to make, please, please do so. Otherwise, as we said, our actual budget hearing will be on the 23rd of April. And there will be clearer information. Yes, yes. There'll be more detailed information at that. My name is Connie Buss, and I was just wondering if you could repeat how we could figure out what our taxes are. You kind of went through that very quickly on um, going to Beacon and whatever. Um, and if this is so unclear and so confusing, could there be something on the website that would clarify that so that consumers could um, have some more information. And so, I know it couldn't be another what, mailing because that's $18,000. Uh, so um, it was the direction that all counties got from the Department of Management to direct everyone to their site. And they have that calculator there. Um, it's not going to be your actual tax bill. It's going to be what these three entities at their highest rate would be. Um, and they can all lower their levies at their actual budget hearing. So if you go to the back of that mailing, there is a DOM website there. Department uh, of Management. Yeah. And I think it's I think it's also linked on the information on our website. Um, and you would need to go uh, for this link. I think we have actually links right to the calculator. But on this link. Yeah, uh, which is dom.iowa.gov forward slash property dash taxes. You would need the rates, um, the, the current and the proposed rates as listed on the mailing, and then your assessed value for FY22 and FY23, which is pay, payable in fiscal years 24 and 25. Um, we have done those for people. If you call the auditor's office, we can help you do that. Um, I know we talked to several people that don't have internet access and that's why they came into our office. Um, but Lucy, does that still give them a clearer picture? It gives, it gives them a clearer picture. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's not the full picture. Not it's, the full picture, but it does give you a clear picture. It's, it's clearer the than this mailing, which is very general to your tax district. Okay. Because okay. I don't, yeah. Because it does take into account any increase in your assessed value, um, and would we'll, it would include your exemptions, but not your credits, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Other yeah. questions or comments? We have a lot of people that are interested here. We'd like to hear from you. Okay, if not, we'll close the public hearing. Um, appreciate all your work and there'll be more detailed information at our budget hearing on April 23rd, which is during a regular board meeting right. at 10 a.m. Right. So I just wanted to let folks know. Um, now we'll go on to public comment number two. Comments from the public on items not on this agenda. The board may not take any action due to comments due to the requirements of open meetings law, but may do so in the future. If anyone would like to make public comments on anything not on the agenda. I'm not seeing that. We'll close public comments. 
with that, is there a, there's a, nothing else? Is there a motion to adjourn? I move we adjourn. Second. Basil? Aye. Adams? Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you.